Design Village, it's honestly like just very exciting. There's so much going on. There's gonna be such a wide range of ideas and creativity here. It's gonna be really awesome to see what other people have brought. It feels amazing to be a Cal Poly student around this time. We see a lot of energy from all the students, a lot of really creative ways of engaging with design. Having it be first year allows us to really just get thrown in. I mean, Cal Poly's motto is learn by doing, so it really is the epitome of learn by doing. Design Village is a design build competition. They give us four weeks to design, build, and live in a structure for a weekend. We've been developing our projects to carry in teams. It's a 1.5 mile trek out to Poly Canyon. Apparently it's called a parade when everyone goes up there with all of our huge designs carrying them kind of like oblong-ish. There's, I believe, 30 plus other groups just at Cal Poly working on it. Our project name is called Bamboozled. We use a lot of bamboo. Kind of the idea came from a combination of like a modular teepee design and then also combining it with the Chumash tribe. Our group is called Shellemental. We are working on a grid shell frame structure. We've been weaving lath through each of them. We have these woven nets that we're gonna be sleeping on as the beds. Our project was based around the theme of this year, which is biophilia. A lot of our choices for materials and resources were built around sustainability. We had to make structures that are recyclable, so we had to think of a whole afterlife. So after our project, we're planning to make chairs out of our bamboo. Our design is called the Poppy Pods. We got secondhand fabric and dyed it all, so they're all like slightly different shades. We learned how to weld so we can make the frames. We have a whole team of students and professionals that work out of a support shop. They give us all kinds of advice when it comes to how to build whatever we're gonna build. We actually got metalworking training in the last few weeks. We use the wood shop to cut down all our bamboo. When it comes to this project, it's not just our team, it's our whole community of architecture and environmental design coming together and helping out all these first years to make this project something that we could have never made on our own. I think it's a really amazing experience because it brings you all together so it shows you what can happen when you work together as a team. We all bring our separate ideas and then we've been able to bring them together really well, which I've enjoyed because I think that's one of the best parts of the design process is like pulling stuff in from different people. Architecture, first year especially, you have all of these ideas and a lot of us are perfectionists and you want things to look perfect and go exactly your way and that's just not how life works. Knowing that things don't go as planned, things are not, they look something in the drawing and the final product it looks completely different. Being able to adapt, being able to adjust, and being very, very open to making changes along the way, I think that really, really helps and puts an emphasis on design is not perfect, but design is being able to adapt to those changes. This project was one of the things that honestly made me want to come to Cal Poly. Just having the ability to participate in this and go live up in the canyon outdoors with a bunch of your friends and with something you made, I think is really empowering and it's just super fun. It's been an amazing experience. It feels incredible.